Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Volcano AC and in this episode I'll be recording my Ibanez acoustic guitar with the portable recorder, the Zoom H4n Pro. The goal of this video is to compare the different settings of the compressors and the limiters that this portable recorder offers. All right, and now you are listening to me through the portable Zoom H4n Pro recorder and it is already in the compressor number one. So let's play something quick so that we can change to the next compressor. Alright, and now you're listening to me through the compressor number two, which is the vocal compressor. Let's see if those settings sound good or not with our acoustic guitar. And I'll try to play exactly the same thing, although I already know it's not going to be exactly the same, but I'm going to try. And the volume, of course, it's close to impossible that is exactly the same, but still I'm going to try. So let's go. Thank mm -hmm. you. All right, and now you're listening to me through the compressor settings number three, which is uh, according to the Zoom H4 and Pro for drums, the drum settings. So let's see how the guitar sounds. I know I'm not gonna be at the exact same distance or playing exactly the same, like I just said a minute ago. However, I'll try to do everything the same again. Let's go. All right, and now I changed the settings from the compressor number three to limiter one. Let's see how limiter one sounds. Let's go.
All right, so the previous limiter was the general number one, and this one is the limiter number two, concert. So that's where you're hear me, hearing my voice right now, and let's check out how the guitar gets recorded with this limiter number two. All right, and now you're listening to my voice through the portable recorder and I have it with the limiter number three, which is the studio one. Now let's test how it sounds recording the acoustic guitar. Let's go. Finally, I would like to compare the Zoom H4M Pro to the Rode Micro microphone because this microphone has no uh, capabilities for uh, the 80 Hz high pass filter, it has no compressor, no limiter or anything. So it just goes straight from the mic to the camera. Let's see if there's a difference. All right, well, I hope you were able to notice the differences from the compressors, the limiter, and especially the comparison to just the mic, like it was the case with the Rode Micro microphone at the very end of the video. So please leave in the comments below if uh, there's a preference that you have from the compressors and limiters. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. Don't forget to smash the like button. All right, that's all for this video. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.